Hey guys, welcome to day 171 of my carnivore journey. This is going to be a quick update today. Um, some days are just quick. Um, I'm honestly, I'm just really tired to be honest with you. It's been a long day and I'm recording this at the very end of the night. It's just been, like I said, a really long, exhausting day. Um, but you know, carnivore gets me through. I actually had a chance to talk to a couple of people about carnivore. I'm hoping Maybe I saved a guy's life today. I don't know. He, he had, you know, heart problems. And I told him about, you know, Carrie from Homestead How and, and other some other testimonials with heart it, stuff and, you know, pointed him to the website, you know, allcarnivoreinfo.com. So hopefully, um, you know, he seemed interested. So... But yeah, guys, sorry I'm not my normal kind of upbeat self. It's just I'm so exhausted. So um, so today I had a couple hot dogs for actually I had two like hamburger dogs. So they were like two beef dogs. Um, they're basically hamburger the shape of hot dogs. And um, except they did have cheese in them. Um, and I feel a little achy. I, I don't really like those. Um, like they taste all right, but I always get a little achy from the cheese and that they put in there. Um, dinner though, so check it out. I got um the customer that I was trying to help with the heart problem. Um, they gave me eighteen eggs, and from their chickens. So I got some home you know, free range chickens, <laughs> you know, uh, and I love that. Like, you know, and I think you guys might remember before the last time I had like a customer give me some eggs and one of them was a duck egg. And this time I got a set of eggs and, and I love that. Anytime I get some, some just good old, you know, free range chickens, nothing from the store, just a local person, you know, uh, I love it. So I had three of those and I had my one pound burger and it looks a little different. So you can see in the picture, it looks a little different than normal. That's just because I didn't make it as flat. So, and it was just salt today and I just salted the eggs. I didn't do any garlic powder, onion powder, nothing in the meat, just a teaspoon of salt. And I cooked everything in a little bit of bacon grease and a little bit of butter on top the the burger. So one thing I am going to try to work on doing, it's not going to happen right away because, you know, but I am going to try to start cutting down any extra spices. Um, you know, with that, uh, that, that Max kid that, you know, I watched recently, he, he brought up good points about if you haven't seen the video, I linked it in my video yesterday. I may try to even leave it a uh, link to it today. So go down in my description and there's a link it, under links. You'll see a video, um, a video link, like copy that, go check it out. And, uh, but he talks about basically like how not to get sick of meat. And one of the things is actually reducing spices and it makes a lot of sense with what he talks about. So, I'm I'm really looking at cutting out those uh, additional spices, and I may even try to work toward lion diet. To be honest with you, but we'll see. Right now, I'm just thinking about stuff, and I'm, you know, we'll we'll, we'll just see. Either way, though, I had a pretty good day all all in all with energy wise. Um, like carnivore definitely got me through today. Um, I was able to do some kneeling and squatting and like stand up, kneel down, stand up, kneel down, almost like I was in some kind of freaking Catholic uh, church or something, but you know, with my job and, but I was able to do all of it and, and I didn't have the normal like grunts and groans getting up and down like I used to like, Oh, you know, getting down, trying to hold on to things, you know, so there is those improvements, but. 
Uh, anyways, guys, I'm I'm tired. I'm gonna get to bed. So I just wanted to at least document what I ate and how I felt today. You know, and try to help you all out. Um, we'll talk some more. I've got some other things, and oh, I did make carnivore ice cream. Uh, I made carnivore ice cream. It's in the freezer. And I am going to, um, I didn't film it because I started to, and then I kind of screwed up. I'm like, I didn't want to try to go back and redo everything. I already started making the recipe, so I'm like, screw it. But I'll try to at least film a little bit of the results of me scooping it out or whatnot. And I'll let you guys know how that is. And if it's worth it, I'll, um, you know, I'll film it. And the recipe is from Steak and Butter Gal. And like she had just posted it recently. So when I I review it, I will uh, tag her and I will um, put you guys in or put her link and everything in there. But it's it's not real hard. Um, and it was it did you didn't have to use an ice cream machine. But you'll you'll understand. Um, but anyways, guys, all right, I'm gonna go. I, uh, I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow for day 172 tomorrow. Um, all right, guys. Good night. Bye.